Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I am making a social media dashboard spread for the first week of February. So February 1st through 7th. We switched over to pink in February which I'm excited about. I am tired of that green that there was in January. I'm going to be using the Squad Life book for this spread. I already pulled some stickers. I'm using the winter set of them. And here's what I have pulled. I'm actually wishing that the green was here for one more week because this would go well with the green. I should have flip-flopped one of my January spreads with this one, but we make mistakes. We get over it. There are some touches of pink, so I'm not going to actually like cover up the pink this week, I think, but we will see. I'm going to start by just whiting out my headers over here, and I will just cover them up with colorful boxes. I chose silver colorful boxes for this spread because the snow of those skiers is silver. So I thought that would kind of like be the touch I needed. Plus, I don't use a lot of silver colorful boxes normally, so this is a good opportunity for me to get some of them used up. I like these skinny boxes for covering them because I can put in my own labels. So I've been kind of experimenting with what the boxes are actually going to be called. This one is photos, like that one just says photos normally, which is photos I need to take during the course of the week. This one says film, and then I normally have one halfway through the box, which I will put in right now. And the one that goes halfway through the box is for editing. And then this one is for thumbnails. So making like the thumbnails, writing the descriptions, that kind of thing. And recently I've changed the title of this box over from thumbnails to upload because thumbnails are kind of like in my upload process. I don't know why I have a last one. Oh no, I remember now. Um, and then this box started out as rep work, but it kind of morphed into business. I'm just calling it biz. I'm not like a business or anything like that, but that felt like the most appropriate label. So in this box is things like, again, rep work, which used to be in the box called rep work. Um, also responding to business inquiries via DM and collaborations and all that stuff. I just felt like it needed a title of some sort. So I want to put this box here, but I'm going to white out focus on. And this box I use for social media statistics. I love this like sage green color. I pulled the last of these colorful boxes to title that and I think it'll make the most sense to have it left aligned so it matches up with the ones that are right above it. Looking good. I'm gonna put this snowboarder girl right here. I actually wanted to use these like skiing and snowboarding girls in January. I was planning on using them in January because my family does an annual ski trip or we haven't in recent years, but we were bringing it back this year and we do it with like some family friends. So my parents, friends from college and all of their families who have kids my age. I'm going to go with spread some happy today. This one's going to go right there. So we were really excited to bring back the ski trip for like 2020 to 2021 New Year's. And we had the house booked. We've had the house booked for like a year now. We had like all the tickets and stuff, but COVID happened. So my family decided to drop out of that. Everyone else ended up going, but we didn't feel like it was a good idea, so we didn't go. Which, you know, it was sad. I really wish I got to go skiing. I haven't been skiing in a while. I am not a good skier. Skiing has landed me with a concussion and multiple injuries, but I, I'm more of a, you know, hang out at the, like, clubhouse on the top of the mountain kind of person. So I was looking forward to doing that, but we decided not to go. Moral of the story, or the point of this story, was that I was going to use these skiing stickers for my, like, time skiing. Which, you know, that makes sense. It matches perfectly. I love the colors in this book. I might have to get another one of these, just because they're just so cute. I know they've been on clearance at, like, Hobby Lobby before. Mm, I don't think they're still going to be there, but... I'm adding in some like little silver dots. So cute. I'm gonna put a few of the little light blue ones over here and then I'm gonna call this section good for now. 
This is the section where I do those thumbnails. I'm going to use these tiny hearts that are up here to mark, like, checklist, I guess. I'm using them as, like, check boxes, but they're hearts. It's hard to get them off of the page because they are so close to, like, the binding of the book. But once they're done, I don't have to deal with them ever again. So we got, I'm going to go with all four of them. Trying to remember what videos I actually have scheduled for this week. I feel like I have a fair bit of them just because I got to get in like the after the pen of the currently page and like all of that end of the month wrap up stuff, you know. I love this little sticker with the deer in it. This one's just going to go. I like want to put it here, but I'm like, huh, is it good right now or should I wait on it? I can't tell. I'm going to peel it up just so it doesn't get stuck in place and I'll reconsider as the video goes on. I am wanting to put a sticker on top of this pink box over here so I'm going to white it out just so the pink doesn't show through. And I picked this one that says winter fun. It doesn't really indicate what's going in this box below but I think it's cute and it brings the colors together so I'm happy with that. I want to put one of those little skiing girls right here in the middle of the page so I'm just going to go ahead and white out this line. You may have noticed that hopefully my video is a little less shaky this time around. I actually got a new coffee table. So I replaced that $20 Walmart coffee table that I had been working on before with a nicer one that I got off of Amazon. I'm very happy with it. It matches my TV stand and my bed stand and I can film on it a little bit easier because it is a larger surface area. I wanna build up a corner cluster over here. So I'm starting with a tree gonna bring in some more of that pink with this little cabin. I'm just setting up a tiny little scene but I want to make sure that I'm not blocking out too much room on Sunday so I have enough room to still write my posts in. I suppose it might be helpful just to put the bullet points in so I kind of know where things are. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be right back. I decided to go with the heart bullet points because I thought it matched these hearts that I have over here. I think it looks cute. I tried to use all of the colors I know this is a different shade of pink. It's starting to become more apparent to me that it is a different shade of pink, but I don't know. Like, should I deal with it? It wouldn't be too difficult because I just got to peel up that one colorful box. I think I'm going to do it. Okay, so this is cut. I'm going to peel up the header that I have on the page already. And then I'm going to put Tombow on the back of this. Okay, so that is good to go. Time to cover up that pink. I hope it doesn't show through like the green normally does. No, I think this is just a little bit lighter of a color. Looks good. I don't know why I say looks good after everything. It might just be a need to like reassure myself that I'm doing things right. Silver sticker is back in place, but we need to put some bullet points because I covered up the ones that were already on the page. I'm going to use the hearts again, and I'm just going to fit in as many as I can. So I will be right back when that is done. Since these are smaller bullet points, I was able to get in seven, which that's a good number. Anywhere from like six to like nine or ten is good. I don't normally use ten, but like to err on the side of caution, ten is a good number. But I can go from anywhere to like six to ten. I know I talked about doing the deer over there, but I think these two stickers will be cute. And I don't need a whole lot of writing room for these posts. I'm just going to layer them like this. So this one says tea and fuzzy socks. I like that because most of the stickers that the Happy Planner makes are coffee focused as like a warm beverage, but I don't drink coffee. I'll drink tea occasionally. I'm more of a hot chocolate person, but it's nice to have something that I'll actually drink. I feel weird putting coffee stickers in my planner when I know I'm like actually not drinking coffee. I don't entirely know what to make of this sticker that says, but first, pine tree. Um, but I think it's cute. So we're going to put, but first, pine tree over here in the filming section. I don't know why pine tree would be like a prerequisite for my filming, but I'm not going to question it. This sticker isn't from Squad Life. It's from one of the Happy Quotes books. It says, choose joy every day, but the colors matched up, so I thought it was pretty. This one's going to go down here. So I think I actually want some little bullet points over in the biz section. 
I'm gonna have to find some more because these were the only four at the top of the page. I know there's some silver foiled ones. And of course the fridge kicks on right in the middle of the video. I don't know how obviously you can hear it, so I'm just gonna keep recording. But if at any point like fridge noises really bother you, please let me know and I'll just try to avoid the fridge noises by like taking breaks or something like that. So this one is from the spring section of the book. I liked it because it matches this girl's coat. So I feel okay using it even though there isn't any yellow anywhere else. And then I'm actually gonna peel up this dark blue one. And dark blue is getting replaced by silver foiled. Then the middle one on this list will be silver foil as well. And I'll move the dark blue to this one as well. I just didn't want to have it like all silver foiled on one list and then none on the other. So I think this worked out okay. I'm gonna take this snowflake sticker and I'm actually just gonna cut it in half like that. This half staying on my finger, this half is staying on the tweezers, and then I'm gonna put them up here, so I'm doing half right there, and then the other half is gonna go on that bottom section just to kind of even things out. I think that kind of rounds out that little cluster. I really want to get the deer sticker in there somewhere, so it's gonna go here on Monday because all good Mondays need deer. You all know that. I've got some little tree stickers, just a nice little touch over there. I'll put another one of the trees over by the deer. And now I'm trying to spot areas where it needs like a sticker. I'm thinking somewhere on Saturday will kind of like round this page out. I'd also like to go in with some more of those little snowflakes on this side of the page because it feels like they're kind of all on this side of the page. Probably because they are just all on that side of the page. So I'm going to start with the snowflakes and we will move on from there. Put one right here by this house and the tree. I'm trying to stay away from the little pink and yellow stars. While they are cute, I just feel like it's just like one more element to like add to this. I don't want this one directly above the tree though. I'm going to actually kind of layer them. little blue snowflake will go right here. I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see half of them, but you know, it's more of an in-person viewing experience for me. Yeah, that feels kind of weird right above her head. Peel that one up. So I'm going to put a third one in this cluster just to kind of, I don't know, I like things in threes. This one's going to go over here. I'm gonna flip to that page that has the little silver dots. I'm getting to the point where I start combining pages in my sticker books. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I'm a big fan of when stickers get down to like the very end of the page, just ripping out the page and moving the stickers that are there onto a different page. And you know, that makes for a collection of sticker books that don't take up as much room on your cart which I like because I just have so many sticker books in the first place. And then when I'm also like flipping through them to find stickers, I'm not flipping through a bunch of blank pages or pages that have like one single sticker on them. It just makes it easier for me in the long run. Some little dot stickers looking good. So I have two of these little skier snowboarder girls left. Like this one's there, this one's there. They feel very big but I feel like having a tiny one would be fun. I'm thinking I'm gonna move Saturday's bullet point stickers actually over and put the snowboarder on the left side. I don't know why I said snowboarder. I'm actually thinking of the one that's skiing just because I feel like it would be too close to this other snowboarder. So this girl does look different than her and her, but she is that girl down here. Eh, we'll be fine. So she's going here. Then I'm going to put the bullet points back in place. And there's still enough room to write on Saturday, so that's pretty good looking. So I'm going to call it good on this week's squad life spread. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me on Instagram where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. So I hope to see you there. Thank you and happy planning.